Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. For this video, I want to show you how you can uh, do the chain rule for derivatives using Leibniz notation. So in case you've never seen Leibniz notation before, it looks a lot like this, where essentially we want to know the derivative of y with respect to x, but in order to do that, we'll first figure out the derivative of y with respect to u and the derivative of u with respect to x. Now there's going to be a lot of pieces flying around and keep them all straight. Here's my tips for uh, using this type of notation. The very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to rewrite the equation uh, using a lot of new variables. Uh, oftentimes I'll say that we're unpackage, unpackaging the uh, equation using u's and w's and other things that we can kind of uh, describe that equation. We'll definitely want to find the derivative of each of those individual pieces that we break it down into. The key is that we'll multiply each of those derivatives together so that we'll get the uh, derivative of our overall function. Then, to make sure that uh, everything's okay, we'll rewrite it using the original variable of just whatever we start off with. Seems like a lot of stuff to go through, but you'll see when we get into the examples, it's actually pretty straightforward. All right, let's start off with this one. This is y equals the square root of 5x plus 1. And it is a perfect example of the chain rule because we have one piece that's inside of another one like that square root. So to do this with uh, Leibniz notation, essentially what we want to think of, you know, is how we can take the derivative of y with respect to some other variable. We're going to do it with respect to x by really breaking it up and taking the derivative of y with respect to u and then the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so let's see how this works. First, we need to rewrite this thing. So try and recognize what is, say, the outside piece, like that square root, and the inside piece. And with that inside piece, we're going to give it a new name. So I'm going to say y is equal to the square root of u. So we've simply just renamed the inside piece. We're calling it u. Now, what is u exactly? Well, let's go ahead and say what it is. u is equal to 5x plus 1. So, you know, writing it this way seems a little odd. But if you take what you call u and you actually stick it in here, then sure enough, you'll get back to your original equation. So we're simply rewriting our original using these new variables here. Now that we've rewritten it, we're going to take the derivative of each of these pieces. All right, so let's first take the derivative of the square root uh, of u. Uh, that's really like u to the 1 half. So when we take its derivative, dy du, this will equal 1 half u to the negative 1 half. If you want, you can write this using square roots as 1 over 2 the square root of u. Okay, so there takes our derivative of y with respect to u. Now let's also do the same thing for u down here. Okay, so we want to take its derivative with respect to x. So derivative of u with respect to x. Well, it's a nice linear piece. Uh, the derivative, simply 5. So we have these two pieces here that are our derivatives. So to figure out uh, our overall result, we're going to take dy du and multiply it with du dx, which is essentially just these two guys here. So 1 over 2, the square root of u, there's our first one, multiplied by 5. All right, it's looking pretty good. Now the very last thing we'll do is we need to rewrite it using our original variable. And if we look all the way back in the problem, our original variable was x, so we simply just want to rewrite this using x. So what do I do with this u? Well, what is u in the first place? It's really 5x plus 1, so let's go ahead and put it in. So 5 all over 2, square root of 5x plus 1. So this here represents the derivative of our original. We can even write this as dy dx if we want. And now we have our derivative. This guy's done. All right, let's try this one more time uh, with something that has a few more pieces to it uh, so you can see how this whole process works one more time. Okay, this one's a little bit more complicated and we essentially have more functions packaged up inside of other functions. So this is y equals e to the 3x plus 2x squared, and all of that is raised to the fifth power. So we got a lot going on there. So our first step, let's go ahead and rewrite this uh, using a lot of substitution. So think of starting off with your outermost layer, so y equals, so I'm going to say y equals e, and for all of this other stuff, let's just call it u. Okay, well what is u? Well, we need to rename it. Uh, the next layer I see in here is actually this fifth power. So u is equal to 
uh, I'll say v to the fifth power. Okay, it looks pretty good, but uh, of course, if I'm going to call v something, what, what exactly am I calling v? It's all that inside stuff. So v is equal to 3x plus 2x squared. All right, now if you look carefully, and if I packaged all of these together, it really would equal the original function. After all, all of this would go into v, and it's being raised to the fifth power, sure enough it is, then all of that would go in for u, and that's exactly what I'm raising e to the power of. So everything's looking good here. So now that we've rewritten it using these new variables, let's take the derivative of each of these. We'll take the derivative of the first one. Here's our dy du. What is the derivative with respect to u? Well, taking the derivative of eu is a really nice one. Exactly the same, e the u. All right, now on to the derivative of u with respect to v. So here's a, a nice power. We just bring down the power, reduce it by 1, 5v to the fourth. Very nice. Okay, on to the last one, dv dx. And notice how we're always taking the derivative with respect to uh, uh, the variables that are being used in that particular piece. All right, so again, here we have another polynomial, uh, 3 plus 4x. All right, so we've rewritten it. We have all of the derivatives. Now we simply want to take each of these pieces and multiply them together. So let's see what we got for this one. So I want to take um, dy du, multiply with du dv, multiplied with dv dx. Okay, starting with the first one. What is dy du? Well, it's e to the u, multiplied by the next one, 5v to the fourth, the next one, 3 plus 4x. Okay, now we're almost done with this one. We've almost figured out the derivative of y with respect to x. Now we just need to rewrite this back into our original variable. So just rewrite this using only x's. Well, this portion is done, but looks like we need to unpackage a v and we need to unpackage the u. So again, just reference what you called these things. Like, what is u in the first place? Well, u is the same as v to the fifth. So I'll say e v to the fifth, and that replaces my little u piece. Okay, getting a little bit closer. I still have these v's to replace, so let's go ahead and put those in there. So e, and what is v? Well, the first one will be 3x plus 2x squared. So all of that's still being raised to the fifth power, multiplied by 5. And we can put this v in here, 3x plus 2x squared. This one's being raised to the fourth power, fourth times 3 plus 4x. Okay, and there, there we go. We've essentially found the derivative of y with respect to x in this case. Now, sometimes when you're unpackaging this, you can do some additional steps uh, to simplify it even further. But I'm just going to leave this guy as it is, uh, but maybe it's uh, not a bad idea to move these guys in front of the U. So remember, all you want to do with uh, Leibniz notation is just go ahead and rewrite it uh, using some new variables, find the derivative of each of those pieces, multiply the pieces together, and then rewrite them using your original variable. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.